Welcome to another episode of Glory and Deliverance. I am Sister Lucy and I am honored you have chosen to click on this video today. There is no doubt that we are living in perilous times. Whether we like it or not, whether we believe in it or not, we are at war. And I'm not talking about physical war over land or commodities. Spiritual warfare is real. This is a battle for your soul, which is so precious, more precious and valuable than anything physical of this earth. First letter of Peter, chapter 5, verse 8. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. I recall even as a young child reading the book of Psalms for consolation, and we have been receiving many prayer requests for protection from evil. So hence the creation of this new segment called the Psalms of protection. I will be reading from the Holy Bible, and this is the Guiding Light Edition. And if you don't happen to have a Bible, you can always pick one up at a secondhand store. Um, I picked this particular one up for $7 Canadian at Goodwill Bookstore. If you have decided to join along in reading the Psalms of Protection with me, I have included slides you could read along. And if you tune into future videos on this segment, I will provide a timestamp down below so you could skip the intro. Let's begin. Psalm 140. Deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man. Preserve me from the violent man, which imagine mischiefs in their heart. Continually are they gathered together for war. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent. Adder's poison is under their lips. Salah. Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from the violent man who have purpose to overthrow my goings. The proud have hid a snare for me, and cords they have spread a net by the wayside. They have set gins for me, Salah. I said unto the Lord, Thou art my God. Hear the voice of my supplications, O Lord. O God, the Lord, the strength of my salvation, thou hast covered my head in the day of battle. Grant not, O Lord, the desires of the wicked, further not his wicked device, lest they exalt themselves. Salah. As for the head of those that compass me about, let the mischief of their own lips cover them. Let burning coals fall upon them. Let them be cast into the fire, into deep pits, that they rise not up again. Let not an evil speaker be established in the earth. Evil shall hunt the violent man to overthrow him. I know that the Lord will maintain the cause of the afflicted and the right of the poor. Surely the righteous shall give thanks unto thy name. The upright shall dwell in thy presence. And may you also find consolation. And may you stand firm in faith in this spiritual battle. Never cease praying with conviction, with a strong belief, even in the midst of doubt and uncertainty and always keep God close. May God keep you safe and protected in his loving embrace. Stay tuned for more Psalms of Protection in this new series. Also, check out the channel for other prayers of protection. Thank you for spending time with me here on Glory and Deliverance.